After releasing its P10 and P10 Plus flagships in the early months of this year, Chinese phone maker Huawei is preparing to end 2017 with a bang. Naturally, this bang will come in the form of a handset which, judging by history and rumors, will be the Huawei Mate 10. In that video, you are going to discover all the latest rumors concerning design, specifications and price of the upcoming Huawei Mate 10. So, what makes the Mate series special? Well, the go big or go home philosophy that the company adopts when designing and manufacturing these phones. The presently available Mate 9 can be seen as a perfect example of this approach. The large foblet packs a 5.9 inch screen, powerful hardware, a Leica branded dual main camera, and a massive 4000 mAh battery, all encompassed in a sleek metal frame. Will Huawei manage to outdo itself and produce its finest smartphone to date? Currently, no one knows, but there are a lot of saucy rumors floating around which suggest just that. As such, let's summarize what we think we know about the Mate 10 and see if it has the potential to be the jewel in Huawei's mobile crown. Rumor has it that Huawei is set to jump on the all-screen bandwagon with the Mate 10, similar to the Xiaomi Mi Mix, LG G6, Samsung Galaxy S8, and the Essential Phone. There aren't any semi-believable leaks or renders that we've seen so far, so no one really knows how the front of the foblet will look like. Still, if this turns out to be true, we can expect the phone to host a larger screen and or to be more compact, which is great news for anyone that doesn't plan to use it as a lethal weapon. As for the body of the handset, we believe that the company won't experiment too much and stick with the all-metal frame and black plate which can be seen on the Mate 9. Huawei isn't keen on waterproofing its phones, so we are inclined to bet that future owners of the device will have to protect it from liquids. The Huawei Mate 10 is tipped to sport the recently announced 6-inch full active LCD display made by Japan Display, aka JDI. This is a 6-inch screen with a resolution of 1080 by 2160 pixels and an aspect ratio of 18:9. We certainly won't mind if that's the case, as JDI's creation can be used with wet fingers, and has already entered mass production. Besides, if the front of the handset looks anything like the image provided by the display maker, the May 10 could shape up to be one very attractive gadget. Ok, let's get to the juicy part. The May 10 could very well be the first phone to feature Huawei's in-house Karen 970 chip that will be built on a 10 nanometer process. For comparison, the Karen 960 found on the Huawei P10 uses a 16 nanometer manufacturing technology. The Snapdragon 835 which powers flagships like the Samsung Galaxy S8, Sony's Perian XZ Premium and OnePlus 5 is also produced on a 10 nanometer process, although Qualcomm platforms have a tendency to outperform their Kirin counterparts. Still, the performance and energy efficiency of the 970 should be superior to anything we've seen on a Huawei phone to date. As for the technicalities, it is said that the new Kirin chips sport an octa-core CPU with 4 ARM Cortex-A73 cores clocked around the 2.8 to 3 GHz mark, and 4 ARM Cortex of 53 cores running at 1.8 GHz. A Mali G71 MP8 will reportedly supply the graphics muscle. There's no information about the amount of RAM on board the forthcoming device, but there should be at least 4 GB of the stuff present if we are to judge by the Mate 9. As for internal storage, expect a minimum of 64 GB plus support for microSD. Considering the estimated release date, we are hopeful that the Mate 10 will ship with Android O out of the box. Aside from that, it will most definitely come with a newer version of Huawei's own EMUI software. It's a relatively feature-rich interface that will suit power users, though it can definitely be an overwhelming one for the majority of regular consumers. The Leica-branded dual-camera composition of the Mate 9 is adequate but it didn't exactly impress us as much as the one on the P10. As such, this is an area where improvements would be appreciated. At the moment, there aren't any specifics about the capabilities of the main cam combo, 
but we suspect that the typical 12 megapixel color plus 20 megapixel monochrome sensor duo will be on board. What's also interesting is that this time around, we might see a dual sensor solution employed for the front cam as well, very much like the Apo F3 Plus displayed above. It is unknown whether the front duo will bear the Leica brand as well, but rumor has it that iris scanning and A3D sensing tech will make the cut on the Mate 10. As mentioned in the intro, the Huawei Mate 9 packs a sizable 4000 mAh battery that managed to clock in at the impressive 12 and 14 minutes in our custom battery benchmark. As such, we would be very surprised if the Mate 10 doesn't provide ample time between charges. Huawei might opt to downgrade the capacity of the battery a bit to make the phone slimmer, like OnePlus did with the 5, but overall, we expect a superior battery life on the 10, provided that the new Kirin system on chip is indeed more energy efficient. Huawei typically announces the new additions to its Mate series in November. However, for this year, there are speculations that the Mate 10 will actually break cover in October, which should, in theory, mean that it will be available for purchase before the holiday season kicks in. As for the price, the Mate 9's MSRP for the US is stood at $599 upon release, while a $699 price tag was up for Europe. We suspect that there might be a price bump for this year, but the phone should be cheaper than the upcoming Note 8 and iPhone 8, which might make it a solid competitor. What are your thoughts on the upcoming Huawei Mate 10? Tell us in comments. To discover more Android and Huawei related content, don't hesitate to subscribe to the S Sorrels channel. If you want to contribute to the S Sorrels channel, don't hesitate to contact me by email, sylvain.sorrel at gmail.com.